Welcome back. Now, the continued depletion of the Mao complex has threatened everything from the spectacular annual migration of the wildebeest to pastoralism, just to name a few. It is a subject that has dominated public debate for over two decades now, and the move by the government to evict the illegal settlers has added to the controversy. Now, a battle line has been drawn once again between the communities living there on the proposed way of conserving critical parts of the Mao forest, the Maasai Mao. Now, the government argues that parts of the areas inhabited by those who encroached into forest land are critical water catchment zones that must be protected. But encroachers maintain that they are there illegally, or rather legally, and won't move. Enoxicolia reports on the contested issues and why it is a make or break for Environment Cabinet Secretary Keriako Tobiko. Here is that story. Mao Forest is the largest water catchment area of its kind in East Africa. A 2008 biodiversity report established that the Maasai Mao Forest alone had 393 plant species, 132 bird species, 46 mammals and 10 species of reptiles and amphibians. Its impenetrable canopy of trees broken only by the Amaro River and its tens of tributaries and springs. Without the Mao forest, the region's climate will be thrown into a crisis. It literally helps people in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania breathe. If 273,300 hectares of forest cover acts as a key buffer against the increasing levels of carbon in the atmosphere, but these natural resources has been under threat for decades now. We've been benefiting from it, and it is important that the water catchment is conserved, and that one is us, but the constitution. The Mao complex is huge, yes, but it's getting smaller. Logging and farming are the biggest threat. These are loggers at work, secretly cutting down trees deep in the forest. Then the number and size of open spaces continue to increase as the forest gets depleted. It affects every person because we are talking of oxygen, we get it from the forest. We are talking of water, we get it from the forest. We talk of food, we get it from the forest. We talk of medicine, we get it from the forest. So why are we destroying? We are just destroying livelihoods. 1952. Mm -hmm. Wilson Memusi is a member of an indigenous forest dwelling community. Over the years, they have watched agonizingly as the forest disappears. Sababu, mm. usipitali ilikuwa ni asali na miti ya misitu. Sasa ugonjwa homa akikuja, ninaenda, baba anaenda anatoa miti, anakuja anashamusha, anatuwekea asali, tunakunywa, ama ingina anasiaga, anaweka asali, tunakula. Homa inaisha. Iko mabatiliko kubwa sana. Mm. Sababu wakati ile ilikuwa ni full time. Mbua inanyesha, mamuto inafurika. Kwa sababu mostoni kutoka muangsu kwa hali, kutoka maali. Ilikuwa mungu ameumbia msitu. Ilikuwa ijagusua. Ilikuwa ni msitu ni ambayo imekuwa ime, 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 ime disantani. Kwa hivyo, kila ime na hata magonjwa ilikuwa tu avati sisi. This shopping center in Naro County is named Sierra Leone. It is reported that soldiers returning from the UN peacekeeping mission acquired land here, hence the name. <coughs> Zefania Kones Ruto is a renowned farmer in Sierra Leone. He is a retired military soldier who served in the UN peacekeeping mission in Sierra Leone. And Bosnia. Unajua ulinunua kwa nani? Ulinunua kwa mtu binafsi, ulinunua kwa serikali, ulinunua kwa county council, ama ulinunua kwa nani? Tulinunua eh, kwa under county council ambao walienda wakafanya nini? 
eh, vile wale subdivision walifanya subdivision ya hizi mashamba mm. na hata ni wa mwisho huko ukisikia vile waliansia ni, ni mbele kabisa sasa na ilikuwa sasa mashamba ime, imekuwa nini imetengeneswa sasa ndio tukakuja nikanunua hii so wewe ununua kwa nilitunua nilinua shamba kwa masai mhm mm kwa binafsi and uh, control boat ya 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 nini narok we joined him at his home where he practices mixed farming hii mlisafirisha mkaweka hapa eh wakati wamechoma sisi si ndio hii sasa iko kuuliza ingine Sierra Leo shopping center he denies that he and others encroached into forest land hii ilikuwa valid inaenda bank na inachukua loan sasa kwa nini na ni Nairobi sasa ingekuwa at ni fake ni ni fake title wewe oh, ulienda mpaka Nairobi nika eh nikaichukua loan na hii kitu mm-hmm. that was uh, kapla hii hii maneno itoke okay. 70% of deforestation in Kenya is caused by encroachment and this is how it looks like when it starts slowly by slowly but surely trees are pushed aside by power saws and rudimental axes they are left on the side of the road waiting to be taken away by the trucks this is illegal but lucrative The destruction of the forest cover here is so real that even those who live within the forest maintain that something must be done to reverse the effects of its destruction. This part of the forest was deforested about a year ago. We are told this is a very badly hit part of the Mao forest. By the end of last year, over 35% of Mao trees had been cut down. Despite improved government efforts and protecting one of Kenya's water towers, loggers and encroachers have just refused to go away. They are cutting through the forest in an alarming rate. Hatusema. When John Kemboi came to Kamwingoi in 2005, he thought he had found a haven for his family. For six January, nika nikaacha nikalima shamba, alafu nikapanda. Nilipopanda, nikabadilia na na kurudi mali tuli tulitoka. Ulitoka wapi? Nilitoka sehemu za Nandi. Mnajua mlinunua kwa nani? Eh, tulinunua kutoka msee anaitwa Kemasit kama sit. Eh, ilikuwa kiasi gani e, na pesa ngapi wakati huo? It was uh, around 32 to 33 acres. Thousand. But eh uh, oh acres. Pa acre. Pa acre. 33. That to 33,000 pa acre. Eh. Mkanunua kwa ngapi? Kwa tano mm-hmm. kwanza. Mhm. Lakini alipopimia papa ndio alipea eka sapa. Mhm chumla ya hiyo pesa ilikuwa 240,000 Kimboi like over 60,000 others targeted in the ongoing eviction is casting prominent people who duped him into buying land in the forest tuliandikiwa tu agreement mhm hatu chapata nini title deed na wewe sasa size umesikia serikali imesema hapa ni msitu kama serikali serikali angetusaidia mhm eh aturumie maana mm. hii ni mashamba tulinunua mm-hmm. eh, na kuna shamba lingine mahali tunaenda kutokana na wale wale tuusia mm. atu hawakuelezea kwamba hii ni msitu mm-hmm. ilikuwa ni mashamba ya ya watu kuishi mm-hmm. eh mnaambiwa ni mashamba ya watu kuishi. eh mashamba ya watu kuhi, kuishi mm-hmm. hii kwa forest now thousands of people live within this area it's called kamungoi and is one of the areas targeted by the government in phase two of the mau eviction according to the government this is forest land but according to people who live here they bought each and every piece of land they live in But how did it reach here? The cabinet secretary's report in 2018 backpedaled the source of Maasai Mau problem to 1999 when five group ranches adjacent to the forest block that had been adjudicated in the 1970s applied for consent from the local land control board to subdivide their land among members. Then the boundaries of Sisian, Karuni, 
enasokon enakishomi and reio were well defined during adjudication and was hence adopted at first registration the issuance of the consent literally opened a pandora's box 